If you work with students on the iPad, you don't need a smart board to take advantage of a smart board notebook lesson. You can create smart notebook lessons from this iPad app, or you can use a lesson that you created with the computer smart notebook software within this app. The smart notebook app is found within self-service and you can install it yourself just by choosing install. When you open the smart notebook app on your iPad, you will see a tutorial file that's really helpful in showing you all the features of the app. Let's open that up and I'll highlight the features that function differently from the smart notebook computer software. So as you can see at the bottom, you have all your pens and text and shapes and lines. And you can go to the next page by using the arrows or by clicking on the page you want to jump to over on the left hand side. I'm going to jump down to slide five here and talk about receiving files. So we'll go through this a little bit more in depth, but if you receive a smart notebook file in your email that either you or someone else sent, you're just going to tap that file and choose to open it in the smart notebook app. Now, one thing that's a little bit different in the iPad app than on the computer is that when you select an object like this heart here, you're not going to have that little arrow menu where you usually can control things like the fill color, the line color, those sorts of things. So instead, you can see that you go up to the top, again, after you've selected the heart, now you can go up to the top and you can adjust those properties. If you want to change even more properties, you're going to tap and hold that object. And now you have a very similar menu to what you used to get on the computer with that little arrow. And one of those options you'll see there is the infinite cloner. And at the very bottom, you can add sound. Now on the iPad, you can also copy and paste pictures or text or whatever it is from another program on your iPad. So here they're showing you an example of what to do in Safari. If you find an image you want to use within your lesson um, that's currently in Safari, you can just press and hold that image and choose copy. And then when you go back into this smart notebook iPad app, you can just press and hold and choose paste. Another nice option on the iPad is if you're working through this file with a student and they've added some elements with the pen, moved things around in your lesson, those sorts of things, you can revert the file to exactly the way it was when you first opened it. That way, the next time you open it, the lesson will be ready to go for another student. So to revert a file, you're just going to tap the revert button. That would be this button right here. You can see because I haven't made any changes to this document, it's grayed out. So it's not going to let me revert it. Now you can also import files directly from the Smart Exchange website. So on your iPad, you could go to Smart Exchange and choose to download, just like you see here, just like you would on your computer. And then once that's downloaded, you can choose to open it in notebook and it'll just pop into your app over here. You should also be able to import your files from Google Drive following these steps. And those are the biggest ways that this app is different from your computer software. But let's just go take a look at our computer software and let's see what it looks like to export your smart notebook file from your computer so that you can use it on the iPad. So here I am in my smart notebook software and I'm going to go up to file and I'm going to choose export as 
and then I'm going to choose Optimized Smart Notebook File. From there, I'm just going to be sure I choose a spot to save it where I know I can find it later. And I'll give it a title. So let's just call this example file. And you'll be saving it as a notebook file. Double check that. And then click Save. Now, back in your email, you can choose to send this file to yourself or someone else. And then you're just going to attach it and find that file and click open. Pretty soon it'll be ready to send to your email recipient. And when you go to open that email on your iPad, you can tap it and then choose to send it in the upper right hand corner. And you're just going to send it to that notebook app. And it's just going to open up and you're ready to use it.